Do you know your labor cost? Do you know your profit margin? Do you know your overhead? If the answer is no, you better watch this video. I'm gonna show you step by step how you can easily calculate these numbers. Anyone can do it. By the end of the video, I will post a link down below where you can download the template and just replace with your numbers and be able to calculate it. I do have to mention that this won't replace your accountant, this won't replace your CPA, it won't even replace QuickBooks. But if you just started your business or you've been in business for years and you've never seen your numbers, you have no idea what your profit margin is, this is a, this is a simple way that can help you calculate these numbers and have an idea where you stand. And you probably heard this before, but if you want to be in business, you have to know your numbers. Let me repeat that again. You have to know your numbers. So this will be the end product. You're going to be able to tell me, well, my profit margin is 30%. My profit margin is 60%. My labor cost is 20%. My overhead is 25%, whatever your numbers are, but you have to know where you stand. If you're asking yourself, well, I'm not making any money. Where's all my money? I make all these services. I charge these clients and I don't know where the money goes. This is your answer. So this is not only about your labor costs, overhead, profit margin. You're going to be able to tell by the end of this video, what's the percentage of your expenses that you spend on marketing, on rent, on food, on business insurance, on payroll. These are important things that you should know. And again, this will not replace your accountant or CPA or even QuickBooks. But if you never done your numbers and you have no idea where you stand, this is a basic way to at least have an idea and help you achieve your goals. This is where we start and we're going to do this step by step. This is the empty template. I'm going to show you how we can fill it out and reach the end goal, which shows you your percentages. Now on your left, you have all your expenses and you can easily fill this out if you have a business account, a checking business account. I highly recommend if you run a business to have your separate uh, bank account and you can just download all, all your expenses and just paste the results over here. Usually uh, banks will let you download an Excel sheet that you can just copy and paste. Now, after you paste all your expenses, we're going to divide that into different categories and we're going to calculate the total expenses. We're going to calculate the income and the grand total. So let's move to step number two. So this is an example of all my expenses for a month. And this is our, these are just random numbers, but you can see, and probably when you download all your expenses, they're going to have some weird names. I do recommend to just rename them quickly. For example, Office Depot, I name it Supplies Office Depot. If I were to buy something from Lowe's or Home Depot, I would say Supplies Lowe's, so I know where it belongs. Uh, payroll, gas, marketing Facebook, marketing Tomtech, whatever you use. Just make sure you rename them so you can easily tell what goes where. Now you can see that we have the total expenses and that's automatically uh, calculated. And you can see it goes from cell D8 to D28. So that means that it goes right up to the 231. So if you need to add some more, just make sure that you replace that D28, for example, D31, and that works. So it will easily calculate the number that you need. Now, next, we need to merge all the different categories, for example, payroll, uh, marketing, supplies. So we know how much we spend per each category. Uh, this is important to know because you want to know what percentage of your expenses, total expenses go to uh, gas. You don't want to know how much of the total percentage of your expenses goes to uh, rent or vehicle payment, whatever it is. We just add the income. Again, you can download your income from your uh, checking account from your bank online. Uh, it's just one number. We're not going to tell uh, where it came from, all the different services. It's just one number that you need to calculate and just write it on their income total and the grand total will be automatically calculated for you. I mean, it's something simple as, as you can see uh, right here on top, it says cell H25 minus cell H21 and it gives you the grand total. Now get ready. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. So now we're going to see the pie chart where you can see all the percentages of your expenses only. Drum roll. I don't really have an effect for drum roll, so just imagine that part. So here it is. So now you can see 66% of your expenses go to payroll. That means 
payroll, payroll taxes, payroll services, all that has to do with payroll. Uh, let's see, food, uh, where is it, right here. And you can click and it will actually tell you. So vehicle maintenance, 9.4%, vehicle payment, 7.3%, this small one, supplies. I mean, that's probably, again, these are random numbers. Supplies are probably gonna be much, much more. Uh, you know, it, it, you can easily tell where your money is going. Now on the next screen, I'm gonna show you your labor costs, your profit, and your overhead. And I'm gonna show you how it gets calculated. You, I'm gonna share this template with you so you don't, you don't need to do anything. You know, as far as you just need to fill out your numbers and it will do it for you. But I also wanna explain how I got those numbers. So here it is. As you can see, our labor cost is 46.87%. Our overhead is 24.10%. And our profit margin is 29.02%. So first, let me give you a quick overview on labor cost, overhead, and profit. Profit, easy to calculate. All we do is just we grab the income, we subtract the total expenses, and that will give me the profit. Uh, for overhead, overhead is basically whatever is not labor, whatever is not payroll will be your overhead, your expenses. Labor costs, it's whatever payroll is. But now let me make a quick technicality and let me tell you something about this. There's a difference between direct and indirect labor. Indirect labor will go under overhead, direct labor will go under labor costs. What's the difference? Let me give you an example. I have a cleaning business. My office manager will be indirect labor. My team members that actually go and clean houses, that will be direct labor. Make sense? Again, this will not replace your accountant. Just use this to have a basic idea. They might, there might be technicalities that I'm not aware of. Although I wanna make a disclaimer, I had a CPA to actually take a look at this file, making sure everything is good. And I'll give you her details just in case you need to reach out, you need any help, you can reach out to her. She does remote work and she's looking for new clients. So the way to calculate the overhead again, whatever is not payroll, we're gonna throw in the overhead. Whatever is payroll, we're gonna put in the labor costs. Just have in mind that difference between direct and indirect labor. And I'm also going to post a link uh, that explains the difference uh, in the video description. So we reached the end. Congrats if you're still watching. Uh, so basically all I did on this last one, and this is the file that you will get. All the other ones were just to, I could explain step by step how we reached this. So basically on this file, all you need to do is uh, delete all the expenses, uh, you might have different categories uh, and just change your income. Everything else will be automatically calculated. I just added a little graphic for the labor costs, overhead and profit. So you can easily go month by month and tell how much you've been doing in, in this month and how much you've been doing that month. How about your labor costs is if it goes up and down, why did it go up on, on you know, May, why did you go down on July? At the end of the day, as a business owner, you need to know your numbers. It will make a difference trying to reach that goal. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the content, just subscribe to my channel. You will get you will get an automatic notification every time I upload a new video. And if the information does help you, make sure you make a comment, you like the video, it will help other people find the video and help them.